You're also talking about the reinvention of life and death. Mm. Say more about that. Well, of, of course, since the um, discovery of DNA and the uh, completion of the human genome not that long ago, uh, the scientists in biology, the life sciences, uh, genetics, have been deciphering the code of life for um, all forms of life and have learned how to manipulate the genes and now it's moving into proteomics and I'll give you one quick uh, illustrative example that seems to illustrate why some people uh, have to figure out how they feel about this. Uh, spider silk is a very valuable uh, material. It's extremely strong but very flexible and has other unique properties. But you can't farm spiders. They're aggressive and cannibalistic. But here is uh, one solution that is now being used. Scientists have spliced the genes from orb-weaving spiders into goats. And now the goats secrete the spider silk with their milk through their udders. And it is strained and collected, uh, harvested and used. Uh, and how do you feel about that? It, it, the word that often comes up is creepy. Uh, and yet the value is undeniably uh, fantastic. Uh, the same word creepy applies, is applied often in the digital world. Uh, here is an example. If you go to dictionary.com to look up a word, that website will automatically put 234 uh software programs on your computer without your <laughs> knowing it or your uh, smartphone that will then serve to track your movements around of the course. internet, uh, add the information to the voluminous uh, file on Diane Ream, and then sell it uh, into commerce uh, to lots of uh, firms that are interested in buying it. And one of the words that has been applied to you for years and years has been the word wonky. <laughs> now, Well, I now, was afraid you were going to say creepy. <laughs> <laughs> no, wonky. I, I plead guilty to being a, 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 a wonky wannabe geek. 